Hi everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to all of you. So let's begin today with the solar plexus in the mind week related to the month of Sagittarius. The topic for today is the compass, the inner compass. So let's begin to speak about this topic for the alignment. So um, for sure all of you have heard or have said this sentence of uh, the sentence which is uh, losing the north and um, we usually say that in a conceptual way but actually sometimes it happens um, physically it really happens let's picture this of why the compass the compass was an instrument used uh, for a long time that uh, this was put in a box in a tiny box with um, with water or some liquid and they put this needle that was um, magnetized mag mag magnetized um, needle so it could point by electromagnetical fields it could point to the magnetical north pole so they could um, <coughs> find the north and trace the maps so they could find all the, the, the places where they were heading to. So this was something that put all the places or all, all the steps that you have to do together. So it's like the point where you connected all the all the paths, all the 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 steps that you have to give. And that's why in Latin all everyone together you say cum and um step you say passus so cum passus compass is the way in which in english you call this tool so for cartography for geography for um uh, aviation and for the ships for sailing this is the tool that give that uh, shows you where is the north so it helps you to find where you have to go to uh, of course today we have different uh, tools electrical tools to to guide us through the planet but uh, they are also called um, compass so um, even if we have tools in the outside we um we all in the inside in our in our bodies has this connection with the north pole is something um normal for us is natural because the core of the planet is made up with iron uh melted iron so that creates a lot of um, um magnetism electromagnetism and we have iron in our bodies, mostly in our blood. So all this iron um, is connected to the to the iron of the core. So this core iron of the planet creates this magnetical field that um, expels its energy up and down, creating the positive energy and the negative energy, like a huge magnet. Okay that we call the north and the south. This, the core of the planet usually moves very slow, but it, it's moving. So this means that these magnetical fields are also moving with the movement of the center. So this liquid iron core of the planet is moving around in between the magma around the planet. So this movement is pushing the magnetical north pole also from its position to different places constantly this movement of the 
of the core of the of the planet uh sometimes it's still it doesn't move much so that's why the north pole stays around in the same area for a long time but some other times it moves so fast that it can change its position very fast and even can create a switch of poles so for sure we have heard these theories that the north pole maybe can switch and move into the south pole but a lot of people has this idea that the whole planet would do that like physically and no it's it's not like this if that would happen if the planet would do like this physically so not even a cockroach would survive so nothing no one complete destruction so that's not the way as it happens what happens is that the nucleus of the planet the core starts to move a little bit more faster so the north magnetical magnetical fall, uh, pole moves to the south changing the polarity of the planet so we can know this analyzing the movement of the iron in the mountains in the straight in the in the stratums of the mountains uh, you can you can see that the iron the the positive part of the iron is organizing is organizing to the north constantly so depending on where it is heading you can see where the north pole has moved through history so this would happen because the the melt iron core of the planet has such a power of magnetism that all the iron in the planet would be pushed by the magnetism of this iron so that's why all the iron around is moving to the north pole so what this means that if we have iron within in our blood in our body naturally we also are aligned constantly with the magnetical north pole hmm. so many animals have still this connection with the north pole because they developed themselves through the iron within so in their brains they have this compass that shows them where is the north so that's how they find the places where they have to go hmm. so migrations is because of the magnetism so i don't know if you have if you have uh, so so um humans we started to follow the animals we started to follow the seasons and we started to use other um uh we started to use other tools like um we started to use uh tools like doing maps like culture talking um drawing we we started to create many other um tools to guide ourselves in the world and we lose this uh we lost this this ability to connect with the magnetism of the planet like for example when you do this uh how do you say in english R R radio stacy radiestesia radiestesi i don't know how do you call it in english but when you when you're with your own body you measure the when you measure the magnetism with your own hands trying to figure the the energy of a person or also to find water on the ground um <clears throat> to see where the north is sometimes we use uh, our own body a lot of people in the past they they use it to connect with the planet um but um we we started to lose it dosing that's how you call it okay dosing okay so we started to lose that that connection so we started to use uh other other things other tools like the gps so suddenly the magnetism stopped being something that helps us to guide ourselves in life and suddenly the magnetism is something that makes us feel lost in life 
So the reason why it happens this is because as any animal in the planet, we also have like a kind of compass in our brain that balance the brain and helps us to find the north. So there is so through history we stopped being connected with the planet and we stopped to be intelligent beings. So that's why instead of being connected by the magnetism in the geography, we start to be connected with the magnetism through psychology. So this makes us feel that when we lose our north is when we feel kind of like crazy, like we are lost, we don't know what to think. Hmm? So this is something that psychologically connects us all as humans. Because even if we think different, our axis, our north is the same. <clears throat> so magnetically, we all are heading to the same north and connecting to the same um, paradigm. Paradigm, you say? Paradigm? Paradigm? I don't know how to say it. So here we have to understand also why the north is so important. Because uh, I've heard, for example, uh, many times we have heard that the questions of why why the north should be m most important if we are countries in the south for example we should be ruling ourselves by the south not by the north so the south should be our north but it's not like that because when you organize it magnetically the energy is flowing north and then goes south north and south so all our biologically our biological body with the iron is heading constantly to the north so it's not about politics it's not about culture okay this is about finding the north so here comes the important thing why does the north exist it doesn't exist because the north is important and the south is less important north and south exist because of the magnetism of the core of the planet. So the important thing is the center of the planet, the core of the planet. So south and north are just a way of discharging energy. To picture how this magnetical field works, we have the earth here, and then we have this torus around the earth, like an apple, okay? If you have the world inside an apple. So this magnetical field with the shape of a torus, like an apple, it's protecting with magnetism the earth of all the, um, the bad rays and energy that comes from the outer space. So when all this magnetical, uh, all these energies come to the earth and hit this magnetical field, it breaks, it breaks there and it goes into the center of the planet like, a, like an electrical discharge, like zzz, zzz, like this. And that is what you in the sky see like the northern lights and the southern lights. The planet, as we have a core, we also have the core of the planet, which is the heart. And this is the iron core of our own planet, which is the heart. And from there, it also had a magnetical field, a torus. And this magnetical field is protecting us from the magnetical influences from the other people and other places. So it also creates this discharge protecting myself. But if I have, if I have my heart very weak, and and it's not it feel unsafe and bad okay so the magnetical field will be weak so everything that happens around will affect me
So why this heart is weak and being affected? Because the core is trying to look for the north, is trying to reach the balance, the axis. So the compass that we have is our own axis, our own self. So what is the thing to understand here? That from our cultures and our way of thinking, we believe that the north is where we are heading to, that the north is like a place or a goal that we have to accomplish. So this is not like this. So the north is not the place where I should go. The north is the place that helps me to order myself. Hmm? This means that in order to find my north, I don't have to, look, to go to the north or the south. I have to go to the core. And the core of a human is the heart. Hmm? So why we are talking about this if this is the plexus day? Because the heart and the plexus work as one in the core of the body. They are like one, like a polarity that works as one together. While the heart is contracting and expanding the energy, the plexus is the one creating the magnetical field around all the links that connects you with external, with others, with the world. It's the torus. So these two are the ones that constitute the I am. Hmm? So these two together are the ones that will calibrate and align the being because both together are what we call the compass. How can I find my north? So to find my north, I have to understand what is moving my heart? Where is my heart willing to get, heading to? Where should I go? Where am I heading to? What is, where is my heart feeling that it needs to go? And my plexus is the one saying, who am I connected to? What are my attachments? I, don't, I cannot move because I am attached to things. So I have to know which things I am attached to. So what I have to do to find my north is to heal the bounds, the links that I have with the people that I am attached to and to stop moving outside with my heart to reach something and to be centered in myself. Those two things are the ones that calibrate the compass. So the questions of how can I do it, I cannot help because each person is unique, each person is different. So uh, some people will need to speak with the people they are attached to, some people will have to make ceremonies, some people will need to go to therapy, I don't know. Each one is different. You have to find your own way. I only explained the system, but how you use the system is your thing. And this is important. Each person has to find its own way. And maybe to find your own way, you have to go through thousands of ways, but you will find yours. The, the reason why it's so difficult, this, this moment, this task of saying now you find your own way this is the most difficult and this is the reason why um why 
uh, there exist religions. Because it's easier to say, okay, in order to get enlightened, you need to follow this first step, second step, third step, and then you get it. <laughs> so no, it's not how it works. You have to find your own way. And that's the hardest part. I know, but it's the only way. So, so I don't know if you know this, but the magnetical North Pole in the last five years have been moving faster than it did in the last centuries. So the magnetical North Pole has been moving around Canada in the North Northern Territories and Nunavut for the last centuries, many centuries. In the year 2000, the North Magnetical Pole left for the first time land in the islands of Nunavut and started to touch the Arctic Ocean. And in the last five years, the Magnetical North Pole has been moving through the Canadian Arctic uh, and it went away from the, from the Arctic, uh, from the Canadian Arctic, from the boundaries. And last year, 2019, it moved so fast that it went out from the country's region and it is in the center of the Arctic Ocean close to the to the north the physical north pole during the 2019 all the aer aeronautics had to change its gps's because all the 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 machines were heading to the wrong way okay so they had to to correct all the gps's and in this 2020 and 2021 during the next year the north magnetical pole will be aligned with the physical north pole so this didn't happen since the registry of this what this means that the physical and the magnetical are aligned right now but something else and really important happened at the beginning of this year that the magnetical north pole has moved through the line of the meridian the zero meridian from west to east so for the first time in registry we are living now that it moved from the west hemisphere of the planet towards the east so from the right to the left this means that it changes not only the polarity but also the paradigma paradigm however you say it. so this means that all the humans in 2020 has changed the polarity the North Pole from one side to another, from one hemisphere to the other. And this is why this year all the humans are crazy, because we have gone through something really crazy. The message is the crown of the planet is being activated. And there was something important to do that during this change of paradigm, during this change of polarity, we had to stay still, not to move, so we could all align with the planet. And that's why this year we had to leave this quarantine. We have to put the crown. And this December to this December 21st, this crown will be set in the planet. The crown is Jupiter and Earth is Saturn, both together that day. 
And what this means, that these two planets will be in the first degree of Aquarius. So this means that it's the ending of what time and the beginning of a new one, of something different. And that's why that day must be coronated. And this doesn't mean that it, it, it's going to be okay next year because we have an eclipse, December 14th, that will we'll talk about the next six months of shadows that we have to face of all the things that we couldn't do this year. So, <laughs> so this, this won't end. So, <laughs> A 2021, the 2021 that is coming is terrible, <laughs> but anyway, it will be a great year because it's the beginning of something. <laughs> so the important thing to know about this information for today is that the planet is aligning itself this year and the next one. So. This means that we have to align to ourselves. Hmm? And of course, there is a lot of suffering in the world. But I would like to remind you this, that suffering comes from the Latin word subferrum, that means under the iron. So we have spoken today about being under the pressure of the North Pole and the iron of the core. So whoever suffers is whoever is not aligned with the core, with the planet. Myself, for example, I was suffering this whole month because I was not aligned. This is how it works. <laughs> so let's go to the alignment then. The vibration for today is Ye. The statement for today is I am the dimension of the masters. The code for today is the dodecahedron. According to the Atlantean vision, it represents the element of water, life. Its form is the one that delivers the essence of the sphere and shows the main web that unites all existent life. Its edges are the valleys between the mountains of the icosahedron. It has 12 pentagonal faces, 30 edges and 20 vertices being exactly the opposite process to the icosahedron, complementing the path of the spirit, soul and body, but instead of searching the celestial portals, searches to descend that information to the, to the 20 cells of life. So let's go then. I stretch a little bit, yawn. And remember that we are under the ground. We are seeds absorbing all the nutrients of the mud. I feel the roots extending in the ground 
and my leaves going up listening to the animals of the forest I rise up on the side of the tree of life I feel my roots grow deeper and deeper in between the roots of the tree of life. I start to grow up going in between the branches and the leaves searching for the light to flower. I get to the top of the tree, being able to see the forest from above and feeling the light, I allow myself to follow how I flower with my hands. In the horizon I can see the savanna filled with animals. And above the light of the sun. I take a deep breath and I go higher and higher. As I go up, I can see all the animals, the forest, the entire savanna. And in the horizon, the coast and the sea. And I flower between the birds in the sky. around me, the colors, white, light blue, from the sky and the clouds, and some touches of yellow from the light of the sun. I take a deep breath and leave the skies crossing the atmosphere, reaching the space. And I look down now, as I can picture that the light that I was looking for is now shining in the surface of the planet. And I can see Africa under my feet. Europe, Middle East and Asia and as I turn around the world I can see the Americas, the Pacific Ocean, Oceania and Antarctica. And I can see now the north and the south and it's magnetical, the Taurus with the northern and the southern lights shining with the streams 
of gold. And I recognize that I am part of that great field of magnetism. I recognize that that power comes from the center, from the core. As I recognize this, I use my hands to bring the whole planet with its magnetical field towards my solar plexus, aligning the core of the earth with the core of my being. I perceive, can feel how this magnetical field is expressed by the north in my head and the south in my feet. So I irradiate my sound. I am the compass of my being. I am my north and my south. Within me, I find the consciousness and coherence. My south is the mastery. The north is my learning and both of them lives within me in the core for I am my master I am the dimension of mastery I am the dimension of mastery I am the dimension of mastery I am my own axis, my north and my south. And all the compasses of my being head towards me. Now I see it. I see. I see. I see. Take a deep breath and slowly begin to caress your body, spreading all this consciousness all around yourself, your body, stretching and yawning. And each one at its own time, come back here and now, opening your eyes.
Thank you everybody for being there. Thank you for being every day here. Rest and see you tomorrow at the same time. Bye. Adiós.